Hello and welcome back to Everything Tumblr Tutorials. My name is Rebecca Escott and I'm excited to show you a double-sided tape tumbler inspired by the candy cane. So as you can see, I've already taped off using double-sided tape a V-like shape, which is going to be the focal point. Here I'm going to go ahead and show you that I am working with a 30 skinny from AB Designs, which makes this a very easy tumbler for beginners as we're just going to roll the double-sided tape all the way down the back side. Everything being used in this tutorial will be linked for you down in the description below. Once you have everything taped off the way that you want it, now is where we're going to go ahead and cut the seam. The nails played a really good solid part in this because it was really easy for me to get down into that groove and make that a nice tight line. Take your time when doing this, guys. It's a very sharp blade, and I don't want to see anybody get hurt. So just take your time. Do not rush. And now would not be a good time for your blade to slip. Once you've cut your seams, go ahead and pull back the excess that remains, and it pulls up really, really simply. Once you've cut the seams on both sides, go ahead and trim up the top and or the bottom wherever you have remaining excess of your double-sided tape. Here you can see I've actually marked off, really for tutorial purposes, just to make it so much easier. And I think it's a very helpful guide in marking off where you're going to place glitter. Now I've picked out two sections where I'm going to use the Merlot Chunky Mix on this tumbler. We're going to do those first. You're really going to want to push down pretty aggressively to make the chunky really stick and adhere to that double-sided tape. I did later have to go back before the first coat of epoxy and kind of dab in some Mod Podge in certain sections where I could still see white. But that's not a big deal. It was a very easy fix. Just take a regular brush, wide bristle, it doesn't really matter, and just wipe off that extra glitter before removing any of your extra double-sided tapes. This is Fire It Up from AB Designs. And now I'm gonna remove all the sections in which I marked. So I'm gonna remove all of those and then apply all the glitter at the same time. So 
so I don't know if this is necessary, but I've been doing it ever since I started using double-sided tape. And I feel like I have to press in and push. As you can see here, I'm literally just rubbing the glitter in to make sure it's a good application onto the double-sided tape. Again, I don't know if it's necessary. It's just something I've been doing since day one. So now I just feel like I can't stop doing it. And now we're just going to go around the entire tumbler with this fire it up red. Make sure you brush off any of your excess glitter before moving on to the next step. So for the V section, I'm actually going to use Mod Podge as there's no double-sided tape there. And this is where I'm going to apply the Platinum Daddy because this is going to be my focal point of the entire tumbler. This actually did take two coats of the Platinum Daddy glitter, which was not a big deal at all. I also did not seal the red glitter before applying this glitter as it won't stick. So now we're ready to go ahead and remove all of the white paper backing from the double-sided tape because now Platinum Daddy is going to go in all of those sections. And never mind the bottom, I actually did use the Fired Up Red for the bottom. So this technique and this application is exactly the same as what we just did with the red. You want to make sure that you seal this tumbler really, really well before your first coat of epoxy. Once you've applied all of the epoxy to the tumbler, go ahead and use your torch to pop any bubbles that you may or may not be able to see. Now because I'm using Glitter Craze Quick Set for this next step, I only waited about 35 minutes before using the Eskimo Shaped Glitter from ABU Designs. 
So for this design, you don't want to apply your glitter shapes immediately following your epoxy because otherwise they'll just swim and dance all over the tumbler. So I knew I had to wait at least 35 minutes before applying the shapes in order for them to stay put where I place them. This can be slightly tedious depending on how much of the glitter shapes you choose to use, but that's entirely up to you. You can use more or less. At one point, I actually start using my finger to place the glitter, but I highly recommend if you choose to do this to please wear gloves when doing so. So just continue to place your glitter shapes until you're satisfied. Allow this tumbler to spin overnight before applying another coat of epoxy. So now we're gonna go ahead and use a 220 block to sand down the bottom and the top and where I have chunky glitter. I'm asked all the time how I sand my tumblers, so I thought it was time to go ahead and show you guys. Do not sand where you applied your glitter shapes because they could just easily come off. I only also used alcohol in order to clean this tumbler. And now we're ready for the final coat of epoxy. You guys could easily add a Merry Christmas vinyl design. I chose to just leave this as is as I really wanted that V shape to be my focal point with the Eskimo glitter shapes. Once you are pleased and satisfied with your epoxy coat, go ahead and hit it with the torch to pop any bubbles that you may or may not be able to see. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials coming very soon. And if you have any questions and or comments about this tutorial and or any others, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment or question down below as I try to respond to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.